welcome. Today we're going to learn how to build an Airtable crypto tracker using the Data Fetcher app. We're going to import various cryptocurrency data from CoinGecko, such as the current price of coins and their price changes over 24 hours. Then we're going to use this data to create the crypto tracker. So when you arrive onto your Airtable base, you do want to give a title to your table. So if you just go over to where it says table one in the top left hand corner, you can double click on this and give it the title coin. Nice. After you've done that, you can move over to the top right hand corner and select apps and then click on add an app. Now here we can search for data fetcher in the search bar and click add when it appears and then click add app. This will load to the following page where you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can continue with Google. Now we're ready to import our data. Simply select the big blue button that says create your first request and then give this request name a title. So we're going to title it Crypto Tracker so that we're really clear on what we're doing. The application that we're searching for is CoinGecko. So just type that in the search bar and it will appear. And then the endpoint is get latest market data for one or more cryptocurrencies. Once you have that selected, click save and continue in the bottom right hand corner, and then we can select our currency. So I'm going to choose US dollar, but you can choose any of the currencies that you want. So then for coins, you can select any of the coins that you'd like to keep an eye on. I'm going to select Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, USD coin and Terra. But with this as well, you can actually type to search just like we've done before and then select Terra as you can see. And this is the reason that we really needed that title name so that it would input with the correct name here. So for your output table and view, it should automatically say coin for the table name that we've given and grid view. So we don't have to touch anything there. Simply press save and run in the bottom right hand corner and select continue. Now we arrive at our response field mapping, which allows you to choose any of the fields that you'd like to import to your Airtable. So you can turn these fields on and off simply by switching the green toggle to gray, or you can click the filter all button in the right hand corner to turn them all off at once. Then you can turn on what is important to you. So you can select name, symbol, and I'm also going to search for current price and price change 24 hours. So that'll come up here. Now, anytime you choose anything to do with price, you do want to change the drop down menu hashtag to currency and again to the right hand side. So luckily we had both of those price options in here for the fields that we're bringing through. Once you've done that, you can select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, those fields are now being activated into Airtable. Select show output table and it is as simple as that. We've brought that data through as you can see, so simple, but now it's time to create our crypto tracker. So this will track the value of our crypto portfolio based on the amount we hold plus the latest prices and their change over the past 24 hours. So in order to do this, if you want to create a second table, so go back up to where it says coin, go over to the right hand side and select add or import. Create an empty table and name it portfolio. Nice. So from here, as you can see, we have an empty table. We're going to rename these columns as we go along. So for notes, double click on that and we're going to title this coin. Then we're going to select on the drop down menu and select link to another record. Very easily coin that first table appears so we can select that and we're just going to switch this toggle off to gray. So now we are ready to get started. If you select save, you can add the coins that you're interested in keeping track of. So if you just double click on the first row and click on the plus button, then we can add our coins. So I really want to keep track of Bitcoin. We'll add another one, Ethereum. 
And of course, you can add them all if you like. So if you were wanting to keep your coin table filled with all of the coins, but you only owned a certain amount, you can then add the ones that you do own to your menu here. Again, as you can see, you just double click, click on the plus button, and then add those through. For the following column, we do want to click on this again and change the name to price. Then from the drop down menu, we're going to search for look up, select that, and now we have the configuration. So we know that we want this to be connected to coin and we're going to select current price for the second drop down menu. Then simply save. Easy, as you can see, that's brought that through. Now for the following column, double click on that and rename this balance. Then from the drop down menu, we're going to search for number and select that. And we do want the decimal 1.0 and the precision 1.0 as well. So we can simply select save. Now, once you've created your balance field, you can select how much of each coin you own. So if you own 0.2 Bitcoin, 0.5 Ether, 10 USD coin and 12 Terra. Now, once you've done that, we're going to add another field and we're going to title it value and we're going to search for formula. Select formula and down in the formula box, we're going to type curly bracket price, curly bracket close star balance. Now, if you prefer, you can copy this formula over from our how to create an Airtable crypto tracker blog. Um, if not, you can just type it out as I have just done. And over to the right hand side, you'll see another tab that says formatting. Select that and then from the format, select currency, then press create fields. Great, so now you can see how much is the value of what you hold of each of the coins. Then to the right hand side of this, we'll select add field again and title that price change 24 hour, just as so. And then under the field type, we're going to choose look up and we already have it selected for the coin table where we will be bringing that information from and we're going to choose the field price change 24 hours nice and simple then we're simply going to create field by pressing on the blue button and now we are able to see how much cryptocurrency your portfolio holds. So it's really as simple as that. It's super amazing. But what we can do now into making this an automatic crypto tracker is by going back over to the right hand side where you have that request that you created with your selected options. And then you want to scroll up to full screen. Open this so that it's really nice and easy to see all of the instructions and scroll down to the schedule option. Now, now your schedule option may not look like this if you haven't yet upgraded to a paid data fetcher account. So once you do that, come back here and then select add API key. This will prompt you to add your Airtable account API key. So simply click on the link and now you will arrive at your account overview where you can scroll down and select the button generate API key, copy that API key over and bring it back to your Airtable to paste it into this input. Once you've pasted it, you can select save and now immediately you will see that that schedule option now has that gray to green toggle, which you can turn on and then you can select every day of the week. As you can see, I've chosen from nine till six and you know that your records of your crypto tracking are being synchronized automatically every day of the week between nine and six every 15 minutes so you never have to worry about a thing. You can select save in the bottom right hand corner and then close the window over. So hopefully today you have learned how to build an Airtable crypto tracker using your own data so that you can keep on top of all of your records automatically. Now, if you do have any questions, you can reach out to us here at Data Fetcher, or you can check out our full length blog on how to create an Airtable crypto tracker on our website. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.